This is Apollo Control at 148 hours, 21 minutes. At the time the spacecraft uh, crossed from the moon's sphere of influence uh, to the Earth's sphere of influence, that point at which the Earth uh, is computed as having the uh, dominant influence on the spacecraft trajectory, uh, Apollo 11 was about 33,800 nautical miles from the moon and about 100 uh, 74,000 nautical miles from Earth. At the present time, uh, the spacecraft is traveling at a speed of 3,994 feet per second with respect to the Earth. After uh, awakening this morning, Neil Armstrong reported all three crewmen uh, getting at least eight hours of sleep. The uh, commander uh, received uh, about, got about eight hours. Uh, the command module pilot, Mike Collins, about eight hours. And Armstrong reported that uh, lunar module pilot Buzz Aldrin got about eight and a half hours of sleep. Houston, if you're not busy now, I can read you up the morning news. Okay, we're all listening. Uh, say again, 11. Roger, we're all listening. Go ahead. Roger from the hot wires of the Public Affairs Office. Apollo 11 still dominates the news around the world. Only four nations, Communist China, North Korea, North Vietnam, and Albania, have not yet informed their citizens of your flight and landing on the moon. One newsman said that he has run out of ways to describe your success. Tonight, President Nixon is scheduled to watch the All-Star Baseball game in Washington. After the game, he will depart for the Pacific Recovery Area. Wednesday evening, he will fly from Johnston Island by helicopter to the Navy communications ship Arlington. Then on Thursday morning, he will reboard the helicopter and fly to the Hornet in time to witness your splashdown. Accompanying the president will be Secretary of, Secretary of State William Rogers and Frank Borman. They will watch the splashdown from the bridge of the recovery ship with Admiral John Sidney McCain, Jr., commander of the Pacific Forces. Following the President's stay aboard the Hornet, he will depart for his tour of Asia and schedule a visit to Romania. Luna 15 is believed to have crashed into the Sea of Crises yesterday after orbiting the moon 52 times. The Soviet news agency TASS reported that, quote, scientific research in near-moon space was carried out, unquote. Sir Bernard Lovell at Jodrell Bank Observatory said that Luna 15 hit the surface of the moon at a speed of about 300 miles per hour. Things have been relatively quiet recently in Vietnam. GIs on patrol were observed carrying transistor radios tuned into your flight. The Armed Forces radio and TV network in Vietnam gave the mission full coverage. Skirmishes still continue between the Egyptians and Israelis along the Suez Canal. UN observers there are trying to halt the action. In Washington, the House Ways and Means Committee has voted to reduce the 27.5% oil depletion allowance to 20%. We've had rain several times here in the Houston area. Today it is cloudy and more showers are expected. On the sports front, as we mentioned earlier, the All-Star game is tonight. There were no games played yesterday. Last night in New York, the Baseball Writers Association of America named Babe Ruth the greatest ball player of all time. Joe DiMaggio was named the greatest living ball player. Frank Borman made the announcements at a dinner honoring the players. Joe Namath put in a full day at the New York Jets training camp. Five policemen had a hard time restraining about 500 kids who wanted to touch Broadway Joe. 
He said he feels fine and will play in the All-Star game August 1 as Coach Webb Eubank lets him. The Oilers camp at Kerrville got wet yesterday, but the workouts continued. There have been some minor injuries, but nothing too serious. Coach Wally Lem is satisfied so far with the workouts. The Oilers are expecting attendance by over 30,000 for the preseason game with Buffalo. Apparently, Don Meredith's retirement isn't expected to dampen enthusiasm, especially around here in Houston. Mario Andretti won the 200-mile Trenton Auto Race Sunday and is now the leading race driver in the U.S. Auto Club's point standings. And that's about the summary of the morning news this afternoon in Houston. Over. Uh, uh, Roger, stand by a minute, please.
this is Apollo Control. Still no explanation of the weird noises emanating from uh, Apollo 11, if indeed it is from Apollo 11, and it's reported from network that it's uh, being received on the downlink uh, at two different stations in the manned spaceflight network. Perhaps uh, it will all shake out later in the mission as to what these uh, strange noises are. We'll come back up again as conversation is resumed with Apollo 11. Now 160,410 nautical miles out from Earth, traveling at 4,228 feet per second. At 154 hours, 5 minutes, ground elapsed time, this is Apollo Control. <laughs> 